but he is behaving like a tin pot dictator in behaving in this way. And it's not acceptable and it should be called out. And actually, this is not about, you know, bad mouthing our friends. This is about standing up for democracy and Western democracy. And this is the largest democracy in the world and the leading democracy. And it's really important that it remains in shape. And we have a duty to defend it. But I think that uh, Biden is probably right. We need to be patient and we need to... Uh you know, you see this one out, and obviously every single vote must be counted. Every vote is equal. That's the essence of democracy. I think what's important is that we all stand united, those of us that are interested in democracy and uh, supporters of Western democracy in particular. This is the biggest uh, uh, democracy in, in, in the West. Um, and, you know, and to have the sitting president saying that the, the result isn't valid is, is very damaging indeed. And even today, to hear... Boris Johnson refusing to condemn the way in which the President of the United States has been trying to undermine Western democracy is truly shocking. So what you're, what you're saying, to, Emily, to... is that you know better than the 17.4 million people who voted to leave the EU. And that's why people are going to Nigel Farage, because they don't like politicians like you talking down to them. I don't believe that 17.4 million people voted for no deal. I don't believe that at all. We know that many, many of your, of your voters, Labour voters, voted to leave, but do, does anybody yeah. at the top of the shadow cabinet actually want us to leave? And if I the think... answer is you can't think of any, which is in itself rather telling, what kind of deal do you think you're going to screw from the EU when they so... think that the entire shadow cabinet, from the top down, basically doesn't want to leave. We're not having it, we're seizing power, and we're, we're going to make sure that we don't have, we don't leave the European Union with no deal. And 52% of the population voted to leave, you know, but 48% of the population voted to remain. And in trying to get a deal together, I think that it was only right for us to try to reflect that, which is that we leave, but we don't go far. But we, but we stay in by 48%. So this is the point. People, Brexiteers, well, will look at your choice as you're offering in this second referendum and think it's actually not a choice at all because you're not offering a leave option. I believe that we must strive night and day, whatever it takes, to keep Britain in the European Union. than saying that the, the result isn't valid is, is very damaging indeed. This is about standing up for democracy. And trying to undermine Western democracy is truly shocking.